68. What the fuck is that about? Day two of our board game convention. I don't know if you guys can tell, but right here and right here, there's two zits that are very red on my face. Yesterday I wore makeup because there was one, and by the end of the day, it was all my face makeup was still on, except for my eyeshadow and the red dot there, so it was standing out pretty obviously. And now I have this one, and I am not gonna put makeup on because I feel like it was just putting all the attention on it. But go figure, I don't have to go out in public 99.9% .9 of the time, and when I do, big old red zits on the tip of my nose for everyone to see. First day of high school, huge zit right on my nose. But you know, everyone at the board game convention, everyone there wants to play with other players. So a zit on my face is not any of their concern. It was only my concern. And I have to say, it's like the most welcoming atmosphere I've ever been in. So I also forgot that yesterday was Friday. So when I said that there were like two other girls, that changed as soon as like people were able to get off work. There was a whole bunch of girls coming in and out. So I'd say by the end of the day, it was like a five to one ratio. The only reason I bring it up is because I want to encourage more girls to go to these so that I have more ladies I can gab with. But it's really interesting. I got to talking to quite a few people and there were people from Canada coming over across the border to come to this, Seattle. There were quite a few people that drove a few hours to come and there was a lot of people by the end of the day. So I'm really excited to see what today will bring when it's not a work day. I wanna make three quick mentions of games that we played yesterday that I think you guys might like. So for four players, there was Roll for the Galaxy. The artwork was amazing. The world building was interesting. And if you're not as competitive like I'm not, then, well, I'm competitive. I am. I like winning. But <laughs> you can also play just strictly for the world building. It's just an interesting game. You don't have to win to enjoy it. So Concept is a multiplayer game, and I don't think it matters how many people, honestly, because by the end of the night, there was like just a whole group of people standing around the table yelling out words. But one person picks a card. There's three categories, easy, medium, and hard. And in those three categories, there's three words each. And the person drawing the card can pick out of those nine options. So for example, I got Edward Scissorhands. Then there's this big board with little pictures on it. So it's kind of like um, kind of like charades where you go person, place, or thing, titles, and then there's a subcategory where like arm or horror or movie or fighting, and people have to guess what your word is. <laughs> so for Edward Scissorhands, I picked movie, man, arm, and tools, and someone picked that really quickly. It was amazing how quickly they got it, but it was really fun because some, we were stuck on like Boondock Saints forever. <laughs> And that's when the crowd started coming by. And I really do think it's a good drinking game. And the girl next to me was like, we should go down and grab some ciders. <laughs> but we did not. And then the last one, which I won, was Seven Wonders. And Seven Wonders plays up to seven people. And there's three stages to that game. It's resource building, resource building and points, and then points. So in the middle of the game, that's kind of where you have to get all the strategy from. You have to make sure you've had your resources in the first one, but still gathering others, building this bottom level that will help you on the third level. It's fun. And I like it because I usually win that game. But I did go over on my calorie counting yesterday. I think I still maintain my maintenance, but it's hard to do calorie counting when you're in the midst of a game and you have like the need for munchies. And it doesn't help that fish and chips are frying downstairs and it's wafting upstairs and that's all you can smell. But I do think I went wrong in a couple places. So I'm going to try and adjust for that and see how I do today. If it doesn't work out, I'm gonna go back to my original thing where I'm just trying to be mindful of what I'm putting in my body and chalk it up to having an experience and getting back on track Monday. Because this is a lifestyle change, not a everything sucks the joy out of my life change. So yesterday I only had sausage and coffee for breakfast. I'm gonna do my full-on breakfast. I had planned to only do sausage and coffee so that I would have room for the multiple snacks I was gonna have, but I was just so hungry all day and I'm so used to being like super full for breakfast. So I think that's why I just kept eating, was trying to get that full filling. So I'm gonna try and do that. I also need to make a second cup of coffee because I don't want to spend $2 on a coffee that doesn't taste as good as the one I make at home. And I think I've already eaten all the like high calorie, not so nutritious snacks that I did buy. So I'm kind of left with like eggs and broccoli and a muffin and cheese sticks. So pretty much all the carby stuff except for these 200 calorie count muffins. Oh, and yogurt, I have yogurt. But yeah, hopefully filling up 
for breakfast is going to help me stay satiated for a longer time. I also think I ate way too many like carbs, just carbs in general somehow make me hungrier than eating fat and protein, go figure. I'm gonna try and get more shots of the convention, but I think that it's really important to not intrude on anyone's enjoyment during this. This is not like a come look at everything. It's focus on the game, converse with other people, and you can't really do that with a camera sticking in their face. So I am getting shots of just the game. I don't wanna make anyone feel uncomfortable with what I am trying to do outside of that in my own life. But I did notice that I got 14 views overnight, which is like, that is like the quickest I've ever gotten that many views. It usually takes like a couple weeks to get up to that number. So I don't know if it's the fact that it was five minutes long or that you guys really like board games, but I am going to continue to get more shots of games because I think from yesterday's video, you can tell there are like a plethora of different kinds out there. And we even ended up buying one because it caught my eye. And there was a second one that I have been debating with myself if we should get because it's horror based and you combine board games and horror and I am in. But yeah, I'm gonna make breakfast. I'm gonna do my smoothie, my eggs, and my sausages. I'm gonna make a BLT for us. Oh, and I wanna make a quick mention on the BLT. Instead of just doing mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, and bacon, it needed some zest. So I'm gonna do half ranch, half mayonnaise. It's gonna up my calorie count a bit, but it needs it. Oh wait, I have this, zero calories. I'm gonna put some of this in the mayonnaise. Better option. And with that, it's 7.30, I need to get cooking. We have to be gone by 8.30, so see you guys later. These are my new boys. I don't know what they're